Hello, this is Renee from Paramount Solutions in Orlando, Florida. We are a small privately owned psychic service. We book psychic readings by phone. We love what we do. We have excellent readers that work with us. Um, we do test our readers before they're allowed to join us and they are all clairvoyant. Some of them can use some tarot cards. Some of them are psychic mediums. It just depends on what you're looking for. We usually have a reader who can help you. Um, if you have any questions, just call us at 1-800-966-2294. We always have excellent new client specials and we usually have some current client specials also. We'd love to help. Um, if you like this sort of video and you want more information on it, please subscribe to our feed because we're going to be covering a lot about tarot cards in the future and all things different psychic things. And if you can give us a thumbs up, we'd really appreciate it because we are just a small company competing against a very, very large market. Anyway, wanted to go over uh, just some recaps from different videos that we've done. The Minor Arcana is actually made up of four different suits. So we have them right here. We have the cups, the pentacles, the swords, and the wands, those are actually the twos of each of those series. Um, and they, um, each one of these, of the minor arcana um, suits are going to have an ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 of each suit. And then there also are four court cards, and we actually just have our court cards kind of up here, you know, up top. Um, but those are actually gonna be the page, knight, queen, and king. We've actually been focusing on the meaning of the tarot cards and we're gonna actually be focusing on the twos in this specific video. Um, each of the different suits of the tarot card deck, so meaning the, the cups, pentacles, swords, and wands, um, actually have some basic meanings of what type of life issue that's coming up. And depending on where it lands in the tarot card spread when the reader you know, lays out the cards, it can mean whether or not it's in the past, present, or future. If this is an issue that's coming up that you should look out for, if it's happening now or, you know, coming up very, very soon, like within the next day. Um, or if it's in the past, it's something that maybe has been going on for a little bit, but maybe you're getting out of it. Um, so it kind of depends on where they come up in the tarot card spread and a good reader can definitely help you identify that very, very fast. Um, the cups, the suit of the cups is actually more about the emotional um, intuition and creativity type of situations that are coming up. Pentacles mean financial beginnings and business. The swords are ideas and mental beginnings, and then the wands are the start of an action or movement. And so in this video, we're doing the twos, and so we're gonna be focusing on the two of cups, two of pentacles, two of swords, and the two of wands. Generally speaking, um, if a card comes up reversed in a tarot card spread, which can kind of look like this, when it's upside down. Um, it can actually mirror itself. Um, some people describe it as kind of like a negative version of the card, but it's not always negative or, op or opposite. Um, it kind of depends on the translation of where it is in the spread. But we will be covering both the upright and the reverse positions just because they do have a little different meanings at a very basic level. Um, and experienced and accurate tarot card readers may have their own personal spin on the card meanings. Um, not necessarily different with different things, but they just can definitely translate them a little bit more effectively in order for you to understand the situation that's coming up. And on top of that, all of our clairvoy all of our tarot card readers do use some clairvoyance and intuition on top of it to help you figure out whatever situation you're in and to get your questions answered. Um, they are very, very accurate tarot cards. We actually really appreciate them because they can give us a little bit more with timing of events. Um, and their own spin with, the, with an experienced tarot card readers can actually come from just years of practicing and dealing with their own clients. Um, and then they can, tear, they can kind of tailor their cards and use them with their intuition. Some tarot card readers that we use um, that are mainly clairvoyant first will only throw out a couple tarot cards, whereas some of them will actually do a full tarot card spread. It just kind of depends on what you're looking for. And there's definitely different preferences for every individual <laughs> um, because it is a very personal thing on whether or not you like tarot cards. We completely understand and, and know that, so that's not a problem. Um, so we wanted to go over their meanings. The Two of Cups, which I have here reversed, um, can actually be upright again. Um, is Upright, it actually is um, focusing on love, like maybe a new love, new relationship, new romantic attraction. Um, if it's reversed, it can actually be looking at a breakup or a disconnect in a relationship um, or even a rocky relationship. And so where that comes up in the spread, it could be coming up in the future, it could be something happening now, or it could be something happening in the past. So it's really, really kind of a, a you know, can be kind of, kind of a good one to get if you're having, if it's upright, I think. <laughs> I think if it's, if it's kind of at that disconnect, maybe that can be a little bit more troubling, but at least if you're having a disconnecting relationship, then maybe you can, you know, get some more information out of it and maybe possibly try to change things for the better. I don't know, it could be something like that. But 
the psychic will be able to help you with that more than I would actually, to be honest, because it's all individual. So if the two of cups come up, there could be some relationship issues coming up. It could be good. It could be bad. Just kind of depends. Um, okay. Then we're going to focus on the two of pentacles, which is right here. Um, the two of pentacles, if it's upright, it's going to be talking about a balance in your new venture with a work and family or family issue. Um, like you need to maybe find time for your personal life. So there's going to be maybe you just have to find that balance between work and family or work and private time. That's going to be the type of thing that's coming up with the two of pentacles. If it's reversed, um, it can actually signal some disorganization, um, maybe some financial issues coming up in your in your you know new venture that's coming up um, because it's you know talking about more financial beginnings in business. So you might you know just depending on where that's at, and it could even be in your past depending on where it's at in this tarot card spread. Um, the Two of Swords upright, um, which is right here, is all about decision making. Um, actually, the swords going different directions and then being blindfolded is actually part of, actually all the pictures do go with, you know, the different things. Obviously, you're juggling family here, or juggling something here. And then obviously, you're, you know, trying to figure out your relationship here. Um, so with the, with the swords going in the different directions, it's actually talking about decision making difficulties, um, blocked emotions, maybe lack of clarity. That's why she's blindfolded. Um, and then if it's reversed, there could be a lot too much conflicting information, um, some confusion, maybe problems making decisions. Um, so that can definitely come up and especially with mental issues and, and mental beginnings and new ideas that can definitely all come up. It could be even some, maybe you're having some anxiety come up in the, um, and a decision making process, that sort of thing. So if you get the two of swords, just know that you just need some clarity. <laughs> so it might help out and you might need to just take a step back. But it also depends on where it is, as I said before, in the tarot card spread on whether or not it's a past issue or a present issue or a future issue that's coming up. Moving on to the two of wands. Um, the wands are all about the start of an action or movement, moving forward in a direction with a project, that sort of thing. Um, so if it's upright, the two of wands is going to be about forward movement, uh, progression, courage, and commitment. If it's reversed, um, there could be maybe some lack of planning. Um, an idea might be still in the, its really early stages, maybe not quite there yet, or it could be blocked for some reason, which does definitely happen. Um, and if it's blocked, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be blocked forever. You know, all of our situations that we're in are always evolving and they are always changing. So it's, you know, just know that whatever comes up, even if it is something that's a little bit frustrating for you, it, it, everything changes. As we all know, this is how life works. So if you have any more questions, call us. We do uh, love to help by phone, obviously, 1-800-966-2294. Or you can leave a comment below. We, we, we'd love to, we'd love to look and read comments. We would love to answer any kind of questions that come up for you. Um, we will be focusing more on more tarot cards in the future, so please stay tuned. Uh, we would love to hear from you, and we hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.